Guys, it's me, ProgramCuber17, and today we're going to be doing another Math League contest paper. We're going to be doing from 2006 to 2007, 6th grade, and we're going to be doing questions 16 to 20. So, let's, get, let's go to the first one. To get the greatest possible result, round 4,454 to the nearest A1, B10, C100, D1000. So, let's just go through rounding all these. We can't round to the ones place because there isn't any number after one. So, so A is not going to be an option. B, so ten. So four. It's always going to be. It's going to be forty. It's going to be four and four in the front, and then five next to the right of five is four, and four is less than five. So it would the four would turn to a zero, and that would be for. 10 now 100 because there after 4 is a 5 it would go up 1 so it would be greater than b right now so so far c 100 is going to be the answer but let's check out d before we see this that after 4 is another 4 so it would just turn into a, a 0 so it would just be 4,000. So our answer is C. Our next question is, an eclipse lasting from 3, 3.45 p.m. to 6.35 p.m. was half over at A. 4.50 p.m. B. 4.55 p.m. C. 5.5 p.m. D. 5.10 p.m. Okay, now we have to first. So what we can do is we can we have to find the average of six thirty five and three forty five. And so what we have to do is we have to add up the times. So let's figure out how much time there is between six thirty five and three forty five. There is two hours and fifty minutes. In between 3:45 p.m. to 6:35 p.m. So now we want to divide this into by half, and that would be one hour and 25 minutes. And now we want to add that to 3:45, and that would be four. 70 and we know there's only 60 minutes in an hour so we want to simplify that and that would be 5 10 p.m. so our answer would be D. now our next question is 100 digit of 24 that 24 million six hundred eighty three thousand five hundred and seventy nine times 10,000 is the digit of 24,630,83,579. So, what we want to do, so the hundreds digit of that is 5, and the 10,000s digit of 24,683,579 is 8. So we want to, we want to multiply 5 times 8, and that would equal 40. So our answer here would be B. Okay, now we're going to do this question. So the average price of $12, 12 $4 tickets and the, the four $12 tickets is. So first, what we want to do is we want to add 12 $4 tickets plus four $12 tickets. And 12 times 4 is 48, and you want to add that with 4 times 12, which is the opposite, which is 48. And you would get a total of 96. And now, because you want to figure out the average price, you want to divide it by 12 and 4. So now, without dividing them separately, you can just add 12 plus 4, and we will get 16. 
And now what we can do is we can do 96 divided by 16, which would get you 6. So our answer is B. Now, the next question, our last question is 2 times 4 times 6 is a factor of blank. A, 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. B, 3 times 4 times 5 times 6. C, 4 times 5 times 6 times 7. And D, 5 times 6 times 7 times 8. Okay, so what we're going to do for this question is 2 times 4 times 6 is a factor of, so 2 times 4 times 6 is 48. And so let's check out A right now. So 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. So what we would do for this is we would figure out what the total of this is. And that would be 120. And 120 cannot go, to, well, 48 cannot go into 120 evenly. Now, 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 would get you 360. 360. 48 cannot go into 360 evenly. And so that wouldn't work either. 4 times 5 times 6 times 7. Let's see what we would get for that. 4 times 5 times 6 times 7, and that would get you 840. And if we divide that by 48, we will get an, not an even number. Now let's try 5 times 6 times 7 times 8. We get 1680. We divide that by 48, and we get an even number, which is 35. So our answer will be D. Now, I want you guys to try both of these questions and put your answers in the comments below. The first one is, on a calendar, I put a grain of sand on May 1st, then two grains of sand on May 2nd, then, then four grains of sand on May 3rd. And then we want to figure out what day it would take, what day it would be when you have 500 grains of sand in total. Divide the remainder in 888 divided by 77 by 6. The new remainder is A0, B1, C3, D5. Now put your answers in the comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!